Okay. Tell me that. Okay. I'm far from drunk. I, I can do my ABCs. I can do the survival test right now. What the hell is that? everyone how y'all doing today's video comes from minnesota crime i'll leave a link to his channel below go ahead and subscribe to him he's had some good videos on his channel so basically we have a short video involving an idiot who decides to do his fourth dui arrest he goes out there we see him state troopers see him bouncing back and forth to a traffic stop he takes off on him gets into two car accidents and as soon as he's in handcuffs he says we're trying to, he's not drunk, he's fine, but you can tell what he's talking, he's smashed. And what makes it funny is that he plays the Sovereign Citizen game after he gets sobered up as an excuse for his for his crime and tries to get out of it. He fires his lawyer, demands trial, demands this, has constitutions as a religious law. Usual BS, but just a strict lesson on why you shouldn't drink and drive. Alrighty, here we go. Exclusively obtained by this channel captures the night a drunk driver would make a series of terrible decisions. This is only the third time a Minnesota State Trooper body cam has been made public. October 8, 2022. A routine patrol would quickly escalate after spotting an erratic driver on the highway. 7380. White light to the rear. And weaving. The driver of the car continued to weave between lanes while troopers observed. A stop was necessary. Troopers had no idea they were pulling over Robert Battle, who already had three felony DWI convictions before tonight. And Robert was about to make the situation much worse. With alcohol clouding his judgment, the driver briefly pulled over in the middle of an intersection before fleeing. We got a runner! Thank you. SB-172. Recognizing an excessive threat to the public, troopers quickly called off the chase when the drunk driver blew through a red light. Which is kind of normal. There's no real... person's not doing anything violent or anything excessive. So in a situation like this, still pull back, the helicopter follow them, and then keep their distance. And when the time is right, then they'll come up and they'll swarm them and get them. It's not... Because they already know who this guy is. Once they check the license plate, they'll know who he is. Issue out a warrant for him, and they'll take care of that. But in things like this, they will pull back and just he'll slow down, he'll calm down. Has something bad happening is considerably less. But in this case, no. The troopers were still able to follow the driver's trail of debris and chaos. I might have a crash here. The driver has already crashed once and lost his entire wheel. In a shocking display of desperation, he continued driving. You went that way? Two yeah. orders, we're trying to get our resources for sure. It was only a matter of time before the drunk driver on three wheels crashed again. Yep, crashed, we got him here. Looks like St. Paul's out with him on the ground. Right next to the highway credit union. The situation remained stressful as the intoxicated suspects struggled to follow instructions during their arrest. Down on the ground! Over your head! Down on the ground! On the ground! A disoriented woman in the back seat suffered a broken nose and likely a concussion. In later testimony, she had little to no recollection of the accident. Unknown to officers at the time, the suspect would try a surprising defense strategy at trial. Just imagine what that's gonna be. Give me a DWI, huh? Well, right now you're under arrest for fleeing. Police in a motor vehicle. So now you're trying to give me the, you're trying to up the charges on me. So you 
you can already tell by the sound of his voice, he is he's plastered and he's gonna talk this throughout the entire video. You're gonna hear him. This guy's just completely smashed. Up the charges, I don't know about that. No, I know I've been drinking. I'm no, I know I can smell it on you, man. Mm -hmm. You blowing this? There you go. What is that? Take a look. Let me see. Robert's breath test showed a blood alcohol content of 0 .202 at time of arrest. Over an hour later, blood analysis showed an even higher content of 0 .232, almost three times the legal limit. Damn! For someone like me, I, I'm, I'm skinny. I, I don't have much bulk. I'm skinny. 0 .232 would... I, I'd be on the ground unconscious. I could not handle that much alcohol. That's just too much for me to handle. So tells you just how much, how much this guy had in his system. In spite of this, Robert insisted multiple times throughout his interview with police that he wasn't drunk. Yeah, I'm certainly not drunk, bro. I'm certainly okay. not drunk. Okay. I'm far from drunk. I, I can do my ABCs. I can do the survival test right now. This guy is f***ing stupid. <laughs> The last thing you want to do is sobriety. Oh, that shit. Mm -hmm. He offered me on that. He's not me doing it. Okay. But I, I, I can stand up right here and do the sobriety test right here in the past. That's what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. His stubborn denial continued after sobering up. A review of court records reveals Robert fired his court appointed attorney, refused a plea bargain, and demanded a jury trial. He also filed a motion to dismiss his case, arguing that the Constitution is a treaty under religious common law and that his rights to a speedy trial were violated even though he had not requested one. The trial was held only three months after his arrest, and lasted less than a day. One shocker. The jury immediately returned convictions on all four counts. He was sentenced to five and a half years in prison, and is scheduled for release in June 2026. serves as a reminder that sovereign citizen case law, like bird law, does not exist. Yeah, sorry about that. My fingers were like, pause there. But yeah, no. It's a little excuse. They, they figure out how to play a sovereign citizen. I don't think responsibility for my actions. It's the common thing for sovereigns. They do this. They had legal issues, convicted felons, lots of license for DUI, things like this. They, well, I play the sovereign citizen, more sovereign, more game, and I have to follow your rules. And they all end up in prison. All right, guys. Short, sweet to the point. Hope you enjoyed it. You all take care and have a good one. I'll see you when I see you.